prospect of an interest rate cut in Europe. U.S. fiscal cliff averted for now, but the Fed is calling to raise the nation's debt ceiling. China is recovering, and Japan is about to embark on a major stimulus. How do all these factors shape investors' risk appetite? Well, I think what we're seeing is that tail risks have been uh, reduced considerably compared to uh, the situation last year. We now have considerable clarity over the Chinese economy that it's not going to suffer a hard landing.、Uh, we will soon be past the U.S. debt ceiling negotiations.、Uh, they will have to come to some agreement, of course. Maybe cause for a little short-term volatility, but beyond that. We can see that Europe is in the process of stabilising. It doesn't seem to be going to be as deep a recession as many investors had feared. And of course, Japan is now joining the party with regard to expansionary fiscal and monetary policy. So I think all all these issues are combining to give investors、uh, a little bit more confidence. And I think that is correct. I think they should be、uh, those that have been very very underweight equities, those that missed the rally. In、uh, 2012, it's not too late for them to be at this point in time positioning their、uh, portfolios a little more up the risk scale. If investors want to overweight risk, which sectors or economies should they invest in?、Uh, that, that is a good question.、Uh, we would be overweight Japan, given that there are major changes going on there, and that we now have a,、um, a government which is determined to, to see if it can reflate the economy and get some growth going.、Uh, we would be overweight the U.S. because we believe that the、uh, underlying recovery in the U.S. economy is broadening out, and that once we're past the First quarter or so, where the、uh, you have the impact of the payroll、uh, tax increase. That beyond that, you'll see、uh, signs of a stronger U.S. economy developing in the second half. So we still like the U.S. economy, and of course we're overweight emerging markets, particularly Asia.、Uh, it's one of the areas which has outperformed in macroeconomic terms in 2012, and we expect that outperformance to continue very much in 2013. In terms of emerging markets, how are you weighing between China and India?、Uh, in terms of valuations, then、uh, the China may have moved up a little bit, but if you look at the longer scale of things, it is still a very, very cheap market, and we be- believe that is a major factor which will attract investors to China once they see、uh, further signs that its、uh, economy is beginning to、uh, expand again.、Uh, as far as India is concerned.、Um, Valuations that、uh, they always look higher in India, but it's an economy which、uh, foreign institutional investors have kept faith with,、uh, even at the height of the macroeconomic concerns、uh, in 2011. You you saw、uh, very limited outflows from India, and now we're seeing the return of quite substantial inflows. So I think investors still look very favourably on the Indian economy as a, a long-term secular growth story.